using pause, which is a predefined function. So like length and copy, there's another predefined function called pause. And this predefined function is used to find the position. It's used to find the position of a character in a string. So pause finds the position of a character in a string. And what does pause, how does pause work? That's the character that you are searching for. And that is the string in which you are searching. That's the string in which you are searching. And pause will return an integer value to tell you what that position is. Right, so pause will find the position of a character in a string. It has two parameters. The first parameter is the character you're searching for. The second parameter is the string you're searching in, and it returns an integer. So let's look at some examples for you to better understand this. I've got a string, str, that has the word computer. These are my positions. So find the position of m in str. So what's the position of m in str? Well, there we are. m is at position 3. So the value that will be returned is 3. p will have the value 3. So you'll see here we indicated the return value is an integer. So this is what we mean when we say the return value is an integer. Let's look at the second one. I'm also looking for an M, but this time it's a small letter M. So I'm searching for a small letter M in STR. Now you may think, well, the, the M is there, but it's case sensitive. So it's not going to find the small letter M. So in this case, it's going to return zero. Whenever you're searching for something and it's not in the string, it will return zero. Now I'm finding the position of MP in the string. So am I going to find MP? Yes. I'm finding MP. But at what position is it? M is at three and P is at four. So that sequence, that sequence is found at position three. That sequence of MP starts at position three. So that's going to return a value of three. Then we've got, let's search for MU. MU, I do have an M and I do have a U but that's not a perfect match. There's a P in between. So it will not be able to find MU and that is going to return a value of zero. Let's search for W. Well, that's an easy one. There is no W and that will return a value of zero. So when you use pause, it's going to find the position of some character in a string. And when it finds it, it just returns the string as an integer. It can look for a pattern, a sequence of characters, a pattern, but the exact pattern must be found. Like here, the exact pattern was not found with the M and, and the U. In, within that case, it only uh, it, it, does, it returns a value of zero. Another important consideration is that, let's look at the word mum. Let's assume I am, SDR has the value mum, 
and I am looking for the position M in mum. So here you will notice that M is found twice. It's found at position one and it's found at position three. So which one is it actually going to give us? Pause will always find the first occurrence. So even if there are multiple occurrences of whatever you're searching for, pause will only find the first occurrence. So in this case, if I'm looking for M in the word mum, it's going to return one. It will not return three. It only returns the first occurrence. 